guys, welcome back to another video on our channel. And today we are going to be learning the basics, aka the jab, with Jeet Kune Do. So let me put on my other glove here. Um, okay. okay, so I'm going to switch these pink gloves out for... Our, so guys, these. Quick break down right here. On. Not um, sponsored. Quick break down right here. Um... So when you're doing a jab without gloves on, obviously they have gloves on, but you want to punch with these two knuckles right here. These two knuckles, okay? You want to make a fist with these pointer, two knuckles. Your pointer, that and, is, your, your pointer, your pointer and, your and your middle fingers, knuckles, these do the most damage, okay? So um, this is like a demonstration, all right? Let me just put on the boxing gloves real quick. So when you want to go for a punch, you want to use your whole body and have your arm go like across, like you almost want to like touch your cheek with your arm, like. But that. you don't want to. You don't exactly want to, but you can. And the jab is just like a quick little comeback thing. It's not like a power punch. It's more just to like put the opponent back in, like, like going, hey, get back. So that's what the jab is. It can be a power punch. Like if you like duck then punch in, it could do lots of damage. But um, so ready, put up your arm. So when you're in, you wanna have your guard up, which is basically going like this in this formation to cover your face like that. And uh, you would just wanna like go like that. Boom, cause that will not feel good. <laughs> so you wanna go like that, boom. As like a quick little boom. And also, when you want to do your jab, you always have to have this hand up like this. Because you never want to get punched while you go for your jab. Because, hook me from this side, ready? You always want to block it. Or you can go like this, duck it. Which is another thing you can do. Wait, but you always want to have this up. Because if you didn't, she could just hit me. But when I have my guard up, boom, I can block it. And... Always you want to have your, one of your arms up when someone punches you. You always want to have your arm up because sometimes in training, when we were, when we were sparring, she would, when she would go for the, the, um, jab, she would let down this arm. She would have this arm like down here. And when she did it, I would just get like a clear punch right into her jaw. Which obviously I didn't, but... I wouldn't have had one. So whenever you want to punch, you always want to have this arm up. Even if it feels weird at first, it does. Even if it feels weird with punching with your two knuckles, because some people are like used to punching weirdly. It's weird punching with your two knuckles. It's like also kind of hard, but you'll get used to it. Our first days, we had to get used to it. But when you do a jab, just want to quickly, like, a jab. It's not like a power punch, like, but you still want to move your body with it like that. In, instead of like that. Like, because on the first days, we would mistake it like that. And we would end up going like that. And then we would instantly get in the face. So you always want to have your guard up. It's a lot to remember, but you'd always want to have your guard up. Punch, bring it back. Okay? So, um, do it with us. Ready? Jab. Jab, walk. Jab, walk. Jab, walk. And then you can do jab, duck. Jab, duck as she goes through the hook. Yeah, so there's lots keep your guard up when you go down. Yeah, keep your guard up when you go down though. So and it's not like a this type move. It's not like a there's this type move. You just go down and up. And you don't want to go too far down. It's like a squat. You just want to go like that real quick. Um when you do it. So get your gloves on. I'll get mine on. Okay. Look at these, baby. <laughs> Alright, so when we're in a fight, okay? Just don't do any crosses and advanced stuff. With the jab, it isn't the most powerful punch because you gotta stand like this. Keep your arm up. You always want to have straight this down thing. and you turn your side. So when the wait, don't punch me. The jab doesn't do that much damage. If you get it past, it could. But if you if you if I punch you with the jab, what would be your first reaction to go back? Right? It would like she wouldn't want to go towards like. It. So watch, it's, watch. it's more up here. Come more up here. 
Like, when I'm like that, I always, like, want to go back because, obviously, I don't want to get Oh, my hit. gosh, I did the wrong hand. So, you always want to do your left, left hand. hand. Or, or well, your, if you're lefty, if you're you want to righty, you want to do it with your left hand. If you're a lefty, you want to do it with your right hand. You have hand. to do it with your opposite hand. All right, so come here. All right. So, when you go to jab, you just want to do, like, that. And you want to make it quick because if I do it long, have this up. Like, but like, see, it's not really made for like a then like there's a, a face shot. shot. So if you don't have your arms up, it's an automatic face shot. Yeah, but one thing, guys, when you that jump. lots of people mistake is when when they go for a punch, they mostly like use it as like a KO punch. It can end up KOing. Like, it can do it. It's really hard to. So mostly people do it to like make you have like step back. Yeah, but to KO again is a cross. That we'll be learning in the next video is like a hard punch, but like you leave your ribs open, so it's not the best. But like right now, we're working on the jab. It's just like a little like that. Like it's actually really hard. So okay, why don't you put the gloves on? All right, I'll put um the pads on. Pads. Yeah, you already had your gloves on. Okay. And she will show you a bit of demonstrations uh, with it too. All right. Okay. So punch. Okay. Say so you wanna jab. You wanna jab. Okay? And remember, so, use these two knuckles on your hand. Well, they're right down here, but like you wanna use these two knuckles. These hit hard. Okay? Because if you do them with these and or your anything, knuckles will turn red. Your middle knuckle will turn yeah, red. Yeah, from a lot of that means you are doing, doing it right. Good. You are doing it right. Mm -mm. Okay. So Oh wait, sorry. You weren't supposed to see that one. Well, <laughs> but the jab. It's just a simple little hit, but you want to take it back like almost instantly. And remember, keep this hand up. Because sometimes, ready? Stop punching. When she does it, when she jabs, sometimes she forgets her hand down. And when she does that, ready? Do that again in slow mo. I can, I can like, I can disrupt so like it. Like but then I can just go right in for the face. So you always want to do it back and always want to like, go like this. And do it back instantly with this hand always needs to be up you can never drop it okay because when you drop it look what what's open first of all you have your hand out if you don't move it back fast but even if you do move it back fast you have this whole area open down here and with Jeet Kune Do it's not like kickboxing boxing and stuff like that it is like you have all these different moves like the kicks and stuff we just like take Jeet Kune Do takes things from other, like, things, like, they don't take anything from karate, but they definitely take stuff, like, they take, um, stuff from ground fighting, which is, um, Jeet I don't know what they're, that one's called, but, like, they're, they take, like, they don't take anything from karate, but they take stuff from Thai boxing, they take things from Thai boxing, like, the punches, but their kicks and stuff are from Thai boxing. They use like the eye jab. There's like a ton of different things that they use. So Jeet Kune Do is, is like um, a mixture of all, which is why it's kind of like the best. Um, It is like the best, right? So yeah, Um, so today's lesson, we learned about the jab and we got like our formation kind of set up um, in the today's lesson. And um. We kind of like explain like some of the things. So, and um, next video um, or lesson, you might call it, we are gonna be going over the um, the cross. Don't do the cross yet. Just focus on your jab. Cause a quote from Bruce Lee: "Do not fear the man who has practiced a thousand kicks once, but fear the man who has practiced one kick one thousand times. If you practice and get that punch down, then." you will succeed that punch. So even if it takes you like four days and you're still on the jab, even like a week, even like a month, and you're still on the jab and you still don't have it good, keep watching this video, get better with it, and yeah. And if you like our lessons, you can like and subscribe. Um, Please do, that would help us a lot. Yeah, you can like and subscribe if you guys want to. Put the bell, because we will be having like lots more videos uh, coming out probably on like a lot yes. of them. Yeah, so this is like the first episode. Um, we're not going to get too long. We're going to cut it short. But um, like and subscribe if you guys I'm trying to put the new. thumb up, but you know. Yeah. 
Thumbs so, up. Um, yeah, today we learned about the dragon Thumbs claws. Just too, keep yeah. practicing this, this. And if you don't have um, gloves yet, it's fine. Just keep practicing You don't this need and this. gloves. See, okay. we have them. Just go like this. All right, so that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, we really um, do. Yeah, um, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>